Hi, I'm Matty and welcome to another episode of our Archive Dive. This week we're going through another of my favourite decades and that's the 50s. Um, the 50s um, was quite an exciting decade in terms of clothing and shapes. Um, to put things into context, we were kind of like post-war, um, we were kind of like early 50s. Uh, late 50s, 1947, we had Dior um, show his new new look shape, um, which, as we mentioned before, caused loads of consternation because it used so much fabric um, than people had used for decades. Um, and that was actually really exciting for ladies at the time. Um, so what we see is we see that follow all the way through uh, into the 50s. Uh, and it really informs the shapes uh, that we see. So what we end up with is... Um, a shape where a bit like my dress, um, which is uh, a bit more fitted on top, but it's got a definitive waist um, and then quite a lot of fabric. So we're going to take you through some of the beautiful dresses that we've got here in our archive and take a look straight at that point. So this is a late 40s, early 50s one, where you can start to see all these incredible pleating. So pleating in a skirt um, really, really became a really huge thing. Um, it's really gorgeous. It's got this little matching top as well. Um, and this gorgeous little velvet collar and lovely fallback sleeves uh, it's gorgeous cuffs uh, and this when we look into it here the serious series pleating so what we can see um, again it's kind of like late 40s early 50s and um, what we can see is a huge amount of pleating um, and we'll talk about that in a second when we start talking about some skirts but this um, batik uh, where it's kind of like overlaid um, in gold, it's absolutely beautiful. That was a really big thing in America. Um, batik work that was kind of like they were overlaying kind of lots of metallics in golds and silvers and things as we go through the 50s. But you can start to see this distinct shape where it's got a very, very nipped top and a very, very wide skirt. So let's see. So when we start talking, one of the big, biggest things in the 50s. Um, and a lot of things that people recognise a decade for was circle skirts. So what they did was <coughs> people started using, because people weren't afraid to use fabric for the first time in a long time, what would happen was that we had so much fabric. So what would happen was people would cut the shape and rather, rather than heavily pleating it, what we would do is we would lay the fabric flat, cut two half circles and stitch them together. So we would end up with a huge, huge amount of fabric. Um, and then you know, a series pleat in these lovely box pleats here. Um, and it's some really great examples of some wonderful prints. So the next few skirts I'm gonna show you are just really beautiful examples of both circle skirts and the wonderful prints, um, whims whimsical prints uh, that were around in the 50s. So let's have a look. So this one's really cute. This one in particular is really cute. This is actually just an apron, but I really love the print on this. Nothing was, um, you know, there were so many kind of whimsical prints uh, in the 50s, and it's a decade that kind of is really, really synonymous with fantastic, fantastic designs, all hand illustrated, um, all in really lovely, usually pastel tape, pastel tones. Um, so really gorgeous little cabochons, um, and a lot of florals, and we'll see florals really, really common throughout the decade. This one is one of my favourites in particular. Quite often in the 50s, they would choose very, very household um, things and for prints. So things that you wouldn't ordinarily imagine that it would make prints out of. But that safety pin print is just really, really special. And you can see how much fabric there is here just by the huge amount of pleating across the waistband. Um, and if I do this, you can see that it's almost, this one's not quite, but almost a full circle. There's so much fabric in there. Wonderful. Uh, this one is particularly special. Um, this incredible kind of design with these fabulous urns on it. Again, it looks almost gold, but it's not quite. Um, but really, really beautiful. Just extremely wide, so you would have this wonderful knit waist. And here, and obviously, um, synonymous with the 50s, uh, was big petticoats, so that not only could you wear these um, down, but you could also end up with these huge skirts with a huge petticoat underneath uh, that would have all this uh, all this puff underneath and volume, voluminous uh, fabric underneath the skirts. 
This one's one of my favourites. In the 50s, there was a really huge um, thing with Westerns. So Western prints especially were um, really, really common in the 50s. Uh, and this one is one of my favourites because it's got all these wonderful little Western print details. So this would be kind of like about 56 um, and all these gorgeous. So all these details that you'd ordinarily find on a shirt um, or a pair of trousers with these gorgeous kind of V belt loops. The fabric and the print is just fantastic. All these amazing accoutrements of cowboys and so that's beautiful, beautiful. What else have you got? I think this one. This one might, I think, even be a true circle. Yeah, there we go. It's a huge amount of fabric. And this really gorgeous bird print. So when we talk about the amazing prints. We've got a few here. Um, again, we usually see them in quite a lot of pastel type colours. Um, this is a gorgeous little house. I know it's a little piano, a little piano stool. So again, a lot of really strange household, in, you know, kind of items that you would never ever have ordinarily imagined on prints. They just they took quite a lot of uh, a lot of inspiration from the home um, because during the 50s especially, kind of like ladies were. You know, supposed to be a lady at home, they've been the wife, has been part of the head of the household in terms of cooking, cleaning, and everything else, as wrong as that is. Um, so, what they did is, you know, they chose quite a lot. Again, we've got kind of umbrellas. So, we see this really common theme in a lot of these kind of lanterns. This one's particularly beautiful, this little girl's dress, a fantastic telephone print. Um, so, you know, we can see some really fun. And this one. Is an example of a true circle skirt. It's really synonymous. A lot of quilting as well. We see a lot of quilting in the fifties, um, where they would um, they would take quite heavier fabrics, uh, and then they would stitch over the top of it uh, to create this fabulous quilting effect. Lots of velvet waistbands as well. So that one in particular is really really stunning. Um, when it comes to kind of like fifties evening wear, there were some real real beautiful things at the time. Um, 50s cocktail dresses were really, really special. And we haven't got a huge amount of them uh, in our archive at the moment, but this one in particular is a really great example of both a really full skirt, a nice um, low V-neck. This detail here is across the front, particularly 50s. Um, and we've got a wonderful set of bows at the back. There's quite a lot of, quite a lot of bow action uh, in our 50s things. And also, again, we've got this really lovely pastel florals again. Roses in particular were a really common theme through a lot of the dresses uh, and skirts in the 50s. Um, again, kind of synonymous with the 50s when people think about, um, you know, what they, uh, what they, have, when they want to reenact it or they want to go to a 50s party. Quite a lot of people kind of go for polka dots. So what's really interesting about the 50s and the polka dots is that for the most part, the polka dots are very, very small. They're called Swiss dots. Um, rather than the huge polka dots uh, that kind of came back in the 80s when they had the um, 50s revival in the 80s. Um, so you see a really great example of these here. These are tiny, tiny little dots. So it was quite, um, it was quite sweet. Um, it wasn't too bold. Um, it's quite understated, but still really, really pretty. Uh, and again, we've got all this fabric here. Yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. And this beautiful pleating across here. I really love this dress. Um, so these are <coughs> these were kind of like really pretty day dresses, um, and casuals um, particularly were a really big thing in the fifties. So kind of casual day dresses um, really came to the fore, especially in things like plaids. There'd be some really beautiful, there were some really gorgeous plaids um, in all kinds of colours, big plaids, little plaids, and uh, plaids were huge in the forties as well. So they kind of supersized them a little bit for the fifties. Uh, this one I pulled out as a really good example of two things. So first we've got this really gorgeous little Peter Pan collar here, uh, which is kind of big feature on a lot of our 50s things, but also because of this sleeve. So we used to see this, quite, most people kind of recognise a sleeve like this through the 80s and they call it a back wing sleeve, but actually its technical name is a dolman sleeve. Um, so in the 50s what we have is... Um, this, it's all it's amazingly cut actually. So if we see um, the pattern cutting, this whole piece here from the front 
to there is all one piece. So it's really, really clever. There's no, there's no um, seam in the sleeve there. Um, and then what that means is the fact that we can create this huge it was nice because it, what it meant was it was really, really comfortable because um, there was no, there's no give on the arms. So really love that. Great example. Um, again, a couple of really beautiful examples of the floral style. Again, with these huge, huge skirts. Lots and lots and lots of fabric. And it was just very comfortable. It's a very comfortable thing to wear. Um, kind of nylons especially were a really big thing. Um, we could get nylons for the first time cheaply, um, so to wear them um, underneath these big dresses felt lovely as well. Um, again, some more. This one's really cute, this little matching jacket. And this kind of like, this shape is starting to go into the late 50s a little bit, and we'll start talking about that um, as we get to the early 60s. So it's nice because there's a lot of kind of, in terms of the casual wear, I'll show you this. Um, it's quite a lot of really nice little spaghetti straps as we came into the late 50s, early 60s. And then let's see here. And take this button off. There we go. Yeah, and then we've got these really gorgeous little straps here. Um, and this really beautiful sheath dress with its matching coat. Um, this one in particular is a really, really beautiful. This is actually a <laughs> late 40s, early 50s, just because of the cut. But again, you can see that real influence of um, how much fabric we've got in this skirt. Um, it's an enormous amount of fabric. In fact, I'll be surprised if there aren't a few seams. Yeah, there you go. So you can see exactly um, that is a true circle skirt. So it's cut from two pieces of fabric, two hemispherical, kind of semicircular. Uh, pieces to create this enormous, enormous skirt. I really like this one. Uh, we've had this in America for quite a while. It's a pure silk uh, and it's shattered, sadly. But again, kind of gives you a really good example of you know the huge neck, uh, so much fabric in there. Um, really nice long length, uh, which would feel delicious to wear. And then finish off. Again, kind of like, this is a really beautiful evening gown. All these gorgeous little bits on. Beautiful little bits of jewellery. This gorgeous netting. So um, we would start to find now, as we go through the 50s, as we, as it kind of, we try and get this shape in the skirts, we'd see quite a lot of netting uh, in the construction of dresses. So it's really, really beautiful. And what's great about it is the fact you can see the way that they've gathered this underneath. So you can see that they've actually stitched in this little bias tape to create the gathers. Beautiful. So then when it falls, that's something out of Belle from, from Disney. <laughs> and finally, got this gorgeous little thing. The amount of work that went into this skirt is absolutely incredible. So you think it would have all have been completely hand pleated in this huge, huge skirt. It looks very simple, but actually, in reality, it would have been extremely difficult to make. Um, so much work in that. So yeah, so hopefully that gives you a good idea of what the 50s shape was. Of course, there are loads of different other bits from the 50s um, that we don't have in our archive, but um, that's just a really great um, illustration of the, sh the general shape um, of the decade uh, and some of the nice sweet little bits that we have. Thank you.